fear the blood mother of Venice, for she is vicious and forgiving. What? Temperate? That doesn't really, doesn't really work. The blood mother genuinely does not suit a character who just made their bloodline stronger. It genuinely should suit someone who's like a torturer or a psychopath, not an 11 year old girl who just happens to be slightly smart. Welcome uh, to, to Venice. Uh, as, as I have probably said in the previous episode, uh, this is, this is, uh, kind of a, a pre-recorded, um, very unexpectedly, uh, having to pre-record series. So, apologies if, if the quality, consistency, editing, whatever is a little different to usual. Um, I, you know, it wasn't particularly planned, so here we are. Ahead of schedule. Queen Womansa Musa, the blood mother of Venice, currently receiving a learning education. Ooh. A stewardship education, that's what we meant to say. Uh... A current guardian, I actually didn't talk about this yesterday, but current guardian is the genius and Herculean, Herculean, Amazonian sister, uh, Princess Anastasia of Venice. The, oh god, compassionate, generous, and honest is quite nice. Not so nice when we might want to be, uh, you know, grabbing some hooks, obligating some goldens, that type of goblin, goblin obligations, whatever the hell I called it the other day. She's a thrifty clerk, more importantly, she's a great educator. Uh, what we've got, the problem is that we've got right now is, of course, she is our heir. Um, so what we're going to do, temporarily at least, is we're going to say no. Uh, no, not you either. You've got too much power. Her, she's fine. Um, we're going to elect somebody who won't kill us dead. Now if he wants to kill us or if she wants to kill us, they'll get nothing out of it. Uh, just to kind of guarantee... I feel like it's a bit weird that you as a tiny child can vote for someone. Seems a bit absurd. Oh, we can accept Tuscany. Hey, thank you. Free land, you say. Marif, our mother. Uh, Pancratios Maru. Or Morex. <laughs> One or the other. There you are. Get out of here. We've got a disabled building in Florence. What is that? Crow smithies. Oh, there we are. It's back. Oh, that's cool. What is that? Oh, it's a crow smithies? Crown smithies. Uh, sometimes I don't read properly. And that's something you're going to have to get used to if for whatever reason you've decided to start watching my channel on the 12th episode of a series. I don't know what episode we're up to. Uh... Princess Virginia leaves the prison. Thank you for the gold. So, what are we going to do with her then? Um, nothing. We're going to grow. Much like my hometown, there isn't much to do besides grow. So that's exactly what the fuck we're going to do here. Um, we could build some wonders. Oh my god, we can get the highest level. We've got bailiff's office right now. We go for a magistrate's court. Look at that. 20% holding taxes in Venice is, uh... Oh my god, we've also got a dynasty legacy. I take back everything I said about growing. The blood mother of Venice does not grow, you fool. She... Prospers. That's right. <laughs> Evidently so. Uh, nice. That's actually fantastic. So we've got an available Dynasty Legacy 2 there. What do we want to go for? Um, it's a hard one, actually. I quite like the idea of Vibrant Court. Um, House of Warriors is good if we're going heavy into war, which, of course, we will be soon when we reform the religion, but this character is going to be the one to reform it. By that point, I think we'll probably have a thousand run out anyway bear in mind the amount of holy wars that we've won and, and even the last crusade to be fair uh landed a lot of our family members so our renown is, is is going up extremely fast here i think i just want to save it for resilient bloodline mainly because architecting ancestry is just fucking incredible um minus 30 minus 30 chance of inheriting back in general traits to the new back in see that alone isn't very good because we that doesn't include incest uh inbred sorry is the right I mean, what's the difference? Um, but it doesn't obviously exclude the in, inbred trait from that. And we're not exactly... I'm certainly not going to be intentionally marrying off people into bad genetics. But I think for a step into architected ancestry... Oh, man. I don't... I don't know. This is quite a hard one. Um, shit. Let's hold off for now. Because I don't believe there is a right choice right now. We'll see how we feel, depending on the situation. Say we do a lot of quick expansion, we might want the one that offers control or something like that instead. Um, or some other strange, ridiculous fringe reason I'm probably going to not ever consider when I pick, undoubtedly, the Bluntline Legacy instead. How are we doing on the development, by the way? We're doing insanely well. 75! How close are we to overtaking Byzantium? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Basilius! 73! Oh my god, are we the head of development in the world? Um, well, let's check somewhere like Baghdad, for example. Um... We're looking at Baghdad, Baghdad, Baghdad. Oh, it's it's counting. Oh, okay, so 48. They're actually doing really well. Um, Jerusalem, 47. Uh, I mean, the HRE's capital has moved around so much. It's been and burned quite a lot. 21, fucking hell. Um, Paris, 
37. Middlesex? 39. So what the hell is going on there? I saw Cathar. <laughs> Cathar, just out of nowhere, is incredible. That's a really nice change. Um, I think we may have the most developed round in the entire world, and I don't believe there's any way to check, because there's no ledger, is there, in... Find character, find title, find lineage, go to capital. Yeah, unfortunately not. Oh, that's quite cool. I didn't know that was a thing. Wow, look at this, huh? Dominique come money. Then Jeff Bezos, our first character, technically. Jeevan Stobbs. Then Steve Job. Then Jeevan Stobbs. We, we really got into a cycle of Steve, didn't we? Four Steves in a row. Massel and Jars. Jolinda Dates. King Everardo. Odd one out there. And then Woman Samusa. More than happy to upgrade Ferrara and Florence, seeing as they are... Both obviously key provinces, and obviously our, our city there too, right over, right over the seas from Venice. We actually can't build anything else there yet, but we are just into the kind of late medieval innovations. Um, high level of castle might unlock a couple more, and we really have nothing else to spend the money on right now as we wait for our magistrate's court to upgrade, which in turn is just going to give us even more money. So we, we quickly, I mean, we've well above snowboard at this point. Forty-three gold per month. I think we put the Basilius to shame at this point. Um, going to try chased? No. Chased or stubborn? Stubborn gives stewardship, and we get a small health bonus. Good for us, not good for our vassals. Um, chased. Learning. Fertility minus 25. No, she's too good. Let's go stubborn. I think I'm going to have to go stubborn. 18, by the way. 18 stewardship at the age of 13. If she does not automatically count as minus touch, I'm going to be very annoyed. I believe that's actually the final upgrade of the entire city, isn't it? Uh, oh, hang on. Great Harbour is 4,000. Wow. Um, well, let's go for Great Walls, and then we'll just sit there and we'll save up for the final upgrade for Venice. I feel like the final thing to build in Venice is very appropriate that it would be a Great Harbour. as the final kind of kind of perfect thing there for our little island merchant republic. Uh, oh, not bad. With the help of Anastasia, I've completed my studies of stewardship. Even if the highest aspects of the subject elude me, I've lived up to everyone's expectations and learned more than most. As I take my first steps into adulthood, I find myself reminiscing about some of the people who have made an impact on the woman I've become. The friendships I shared with Mansa Musa, my, obviously, brother. Uh, meant a lot to me when we were both young and still, to still have him by my side means a lot. I have some memorable memories with Martino, who truly helped me understand both myself and love. And if, I wonder if Thomasina remembers the things I put her through when we were young. Green with Mansa Musa, you're a woman now. Game Thrifty Clerk. Uh, we gained plus 20 opinion of Martino, minus 5 of Tomasina, and we lost Pensive. But, 23 stewardship with Genius and Fortune Builder for the 60% stewardship education, or, or learning speed, sorry, on top of that is phenomenal. Um, we will go Wealth Focus. We'll obviously start going on obligations. I think we'll start heading down to Architect again to try and shave some money off this bloody harbour. Alternatively... We've got a dynasty legacy available, right? Show me, show me, show me, show me. Um, no, 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 get out of here. Uh, dynasty legacy. We could go... Hmm. I think for reforming a religion thoroughly, you would need to go for treasured knowledge. Would you, though? Uh, maybe the piety just would be fine. How much have we got right now? Uh, 2,627. In fact, I think it says, yeah, just up there. We could go Vibrant Court, wait a little while, also get Ordained Rulership for the 10% monthly piety. And when this woman hits, like, 60, then go for all a new branch and just build up piety her entire life. Just all the time. Piety, piety, piety. And then cash in. We've got the mod that allows us to pick as many doctrines as, uh, uh, as we want. But we have to do it once with one character. Otherwise, it's going to cost a fortune. I think we do it. Courts and guests opinion plus 10 and better guests will be attractive. Fine. We'll go for this one as soon as it becomes available as well. Insert Pisa as well. Man. Our vassals are expanding out independently. What? What is that? What's going on there? Despot Gabriel of Sardinia Kai, Kaithen Cors, Corsican. Uh, I'm going to assume that's Greek for Sardinia and Corsica. Um, fair enough. And they are orthodox. Uh, no Casas Bello. No Casas Bello, really? That seems a bit strange. Um, and the Pope is actually actively losing land there, too. We'll be able to vassalize him before long, I'm sure. Piedmont needs to go. Piedmont are, are a massive pain in the ass. 
Um, well, let's keep fabricating claims just on the various splinter states of Italy right now. Let's go for, like, Padua first, and we'll just kind of move around there. Piedmont will probably just swallow up with regular fame claim fabrication. I'm probably going to get her to take off that ridiculous hat. Uh, because it's a bit, it does look like she's, she's just had, like, surgery on her jaw or something. Um, so we're going to go for, uh, there we are. That one's nice and regal. Excellent. Very happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> I keep looking at her thinking, why is she wounded? And then I realize, oh, it's just the fact that she's strapped up her head for reasons. Pope money. Pope money. Pope money goes into the Great Harbor. So that takes us up to, so it's 1.1 gold per month. Uh, up to 3.8 gold per month. And an extra 20% development speed. It's only going to take us three years to build as well. Freaking hell. Okay. Um, should have really taken that first and then flipped over. But that's all right. Not a big deal. Cut tax effect is 25%. To be fair, we're kind of getting to the stage now where we're not going to be worried so much about uh, about potentially increasing development. We're up to 80. And I assume when you get to 100, there's that's it. Like, you can't develop much beyond that, right? So we go month party 10% as well. Now that we've finished building, we spend basically all our money buying indulgences constantly all the time. Now, what I was trying to do there was I was trying to go to the... Uh, I was trying to educate this kid. And now he'll accept good. That's why I was swaying him. Um, bear in mind, this kid is betrothed to us. And we want him to come out as good as possible. And I also want to potentially... I think I prefer him to be a diplomat than a than learning education. Um, thank you for letting me know. Uh, I, w I want to educate him because, of course, we're incredibly skilled. But, I mean, we've got over 15 in diplomacy. And we are genius as well. The better he comes out, the better it is for our realm. And any second now, we are going to have... One fully upgraded City of Wonders. Technically not fully upgraded, seeing as we can go for Metropolis level uh, 3 or up to Megalopolis. Uh, why don't we get to work then on on Pilgrimages? N notify that whenever it's available. Thank you very much. It's a shame we can't do the same with, um, you know, like indulgences and stuff like you could with CK2. Um, 750 gold in exchange for 100 piety. It's expensive, but the Pope doesn't quite realize that he's funding... The or we're funding via him the end of his own religion here essentially because the second we flip obviously papacy is the first thing to go and we're now a pilgrim excellent okay um I guess we go cutting cornerstones I want to flip over to ah there we go scholars uh so obviously we got to go theology for the piety and the learning experience and then we'll try and get profit just as soon as possible <laughs> in awe at the size of that lad look at the chin my god um. It's all right. He won't hear me from up there. I think we'll start. So what was all their claims we were fabricating? I think our vassals bloody grabbed it, didn't they? Um, we gotta get, we gotta come on Padua, and then we we'll go for Treviso next. And we are the fight. Literally this time, the final upgrade can go no further than this point. And I, I believe that's level two maximum for everything, right? Get out of here, Cathars in Lancaster. I couldn't care less. Uh, Grand Cathedral is fine. Dojo Palace. Yeah, this is it. This is the final upgrade for Venice until we, we, we. I have to turn elsewhere. And how's the development going along? 84. So still a little while before that's done, but when that's finished, we can just sit here, collect taxes, and we will have a boatload of cash. Like an absurd... Bear in mind, we're getting 75.2 now, and if we were to collect taxes, it's another... Uh... 16.25%. Good God. We might as well have just about every feast and every hunt possible. So we got Ego Reveler there. Unfortunately, not so... What? You want what with who? Oh my God. Um, Romaniel Throne. Uh, no. I don't think so, mate. Yeah, shit. Um, what are we going to do about that? Um, I can't believe some of these guys are actually in this bloody plot against us. Look at this. Take some gold. Shut up. Let's just see if we can send them some gifts and keep them quiet. Uh, they got a 94 opinion. I, I don't see that out sending them gifts is really going to help out much here, to be honest with you. It did not at all. Um, adequate bargainer. Really? Honest, generous, calm, educated by us. I mean, he's still 19 diplomacy, so I really can't complain about that. Go on, then. All right, there we are. One marriage through. I mean, even if they rebel, we've got we've got it in the bag, right? Yeah, I think we'll be fine. 12 out of 12, full retinue size there as well. But gold or should we take prestige? I think we'll take all the prestige and all the piety. Uh, I will not be threatened. Bring it. Oh, you're, you're all so dead. You're all completely doomed. I have no idea where our troops are. Uh, did we not raise them? Oh, the rally point must have been a province that we just can't interact with right now. Right, raise them all there. There we are. You're all dead. You're all absolutely annihilated. Oh my god, well, if they're going to do that, we're definitely absolutely going to annihilate you. <laughs> Brilliant. 
Um, who is the war against as a main... Uh, as the main attacker? Ah, oh, down here. The Barony of Casentina. Really? Uh, no, that's the... Oh, that is the right flag. Wow. That's a surprise, I guess. No, oh, Crusade for England as well. Oh, it ended their war against me. That's incredible. Fine. Problem solved. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to obviously put our character in charge of this, uh, the, the army to attack in the Crusade. Just because the Crusader trait alone is going to be incredible. Take that armor off. You look ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> let's do it. Right, where are we? Boom. Get in there. Get in. Get us the Crusader trait and we'll make our own religion. Or politics plus 10. That's pretty good, Bella. Go on then. Let's do it. Let's see if that'll shut this bloody faction up. Wait, this is the Kingdom of England, but we're just at war against the Sayax. Uh, okay. Fair enough. I'm not going to complain too much there. Um, let's see if we can get the capital before some other fool gets there. Right, run, 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 run. Get in there. Go, go, go. Run. Look, it's an open field. Ned, we're in the Siege of London. Child, a, a small boy. Hello. Genius, handsome, hail. That'll do. Um... I need to look more like historically rich people. Anandidlius van der Bidlius. May you grow strong and wise, my son. That name is going to make me laugh every single time. My God, I hope he is not our heir. Otherwise, this is going to be a horribly distracting experience. 15%, you're welcome. Right. Let's get to work then. Uh, county capital is where exactly? Oh, we've already sieged it. Well, let's see if we can take that whole bloody thing then. Well, that crusade took all of two seconds. What a silly crusade, actually. Wow. Uh, done? 100%. End it, Pope, please. There's a rebellion about to kick up my round. Please end it. Please end it. Please end it. Please end it. And the... Thank you. St. George is with us. Who got it? Queen Anna. Anna Money of Catholic England. <laughs> well done. Excellent work. Uh, time to focus on my own round, really. Thank you. Thank you. What did we get out of that? Um, if anything. She just got England. Or, well, I mean, that. That would be quite fun, playing as a specifically, like, Catholic uh, kingdom. Something that they've kind of reclaimed like that. That would be a really interesting play. Right, okay. Hello. Um, I'm just going to murder you, to be honest, because you are getting right on my fucking nerves. Um, why are they Why are they doing this? Why are, you, why are you guys like this? Don't make me murder you. Is it just because he's got a claim on it? He has. I'm just going to have to kill this guy. What if we, what if we, can we imprison him? Nope. Okay, I'm just going to have to kill you then, I'm afraid. We're actually getting a lot of perks with this character because we have so many skills above level 10. Bear in mind, that is the mod. Um, Retocracy, a bit pointless. One thing while at war is 10%. Yeah, sure, why not? That's going to be massive for us. Religious icon, we're almost down to profit already. We'll try and get the whole thing. Um, I say try as if it's not going to be super, super easy. Um, what are they going to rebel from again? Who's, who's leading it? You? Uh, okay, in that case, this is what I'm going to do. Uh, firstly, we're going to set up a new marshal, and then I'm going to go a little bit like, uh, like this. And uh, you know what? Rebel at your own peril. Do it. Ah, I'm going to not be threatened, you see. Rally the troops. Oh, look at that. They're already fucking rallied. Who'd have expected that? Kill them dead. Perganats. Excellent. Right. Get him. Slay them. Oh, he's not actually joined the war himself. Bloody coward. Right. Kill him. I, I will slay every single one of you. Oh, maybe not. Be careful. <laughs> that was quite a lot then. Be careful. Fucking hell. 26%. Okay, that's not bad. Right. I would say burn it all, but it's kind of our stuff, so I'd rather not. Um, see what we can do here. We've got to stop them. We've got to hope they just don't grab anything in Venice. Otherwise, that could be a problem. If they set back our... Ooh, that was nice. If they set back our development, that's going to be a massive pain in the ass. Right, let's go for you and just bring you down because it's take all about two seconds. And he's the war leader. Argentina, don't cry for me. Uh, although you are a baby, so that's kind of what you're known for. I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you. Uh, I'm going to call you John D. Rocker. Rocker. Rocker lass. I was trying to think, what's, what's the opposite of a fella? Um, that's quite good. That's not my best work. No, it's not even remotely good, is it? Oh, we can find a university. Ah, oh, cool. We're now known as the scholar. I prefer the blood mother, if that's okay. Um, university of Siena or University of Bologna. Oh, it's just in your capital. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Um, done. 
Bologna it is. There you go. The, the realm in rebellion. We've just stuck a fucking university down. In fact, I don't think it even worked. Because they're in rebellion. I hope that's not the case. Otherwise, that would suck. Ooh. Is that a problem? No, it's not. We are pulling it back despite the fact that we had absolutely no advantage there at all. Uh, give that man a dignified burial. Uh, only superior god. Of course. 100 prestige. I agree fully. We're already a paragon of virtue. This is incredible. Right. Let's take back this one. And then we'll just see what we can... Is that something they've sieged there? God, this is a pain in the ass. I can't believe they rebelled. They all really liked us. They're just being dicks. Just grab this one and I'm hoping this is over. Now, well, the question is, what the hell am I going to do with them? Um, thanks. Let's take a look at what our options are before I... Before I lop all their heads off. Um, yeah, you guys can marry. That seems fine. And we are already up to profit. So if we want to make a new religion, we can absolutely do it right now. 850. Um, we could go with you. We could throw in you. We could throw in one of those. My god, we would be able to make a quite dense religion already. Look at this. Wow. Oh my god, we can already do so much. That's when we start going over. So we can take 13 doctrines. Without, of course, affecting any of the... Uh, sorry, tenants. I, I was confusing because, of course, it was the other round in CK2. Um, so we can take 13 tenants. And... I mean, I feel like I've got to change some doctrines, too. We'll just take whatever whatever makes the most sense, I think. Like I said, the longer we hold out on that, the longer we bide our time, the more doctrines we can put in our religion until we make it the most OP, broken thing possible. Um... So I think we'll just we'll just kind of hang around. There's no rush. You know, we're not immediately going to be able to capitalize on that, so to speak. Um, cap capitalize. Sorry, I didn't know if that was obvious enough, so I thought I'd point it out again, and I feel like I may have ruined it. Uh, or what are we doing then? Um, I was going to look at my prisoners. I was going to decide whether or not to lop your bloody heads clean off. Uh, I'll let you go if you get rid of your claims. No, no, no. I said I'll let you go if you get rid of your claims. Um, negotiate release. Renounce claims. We'll accept. Goodbye. Right, you... Uh, negotiate release. Renounce claims. Goodbye. Lose opinion of me. Yeah, sod off. Right, you. You have nothing I'm interested in. So I'm just gonna... I could just revoke it, to be fair. But I'm not gonna do that. Um, he's, he's, a, he's a very... He's a nice man. You know, he's a good vassal. He's quite powerful. We'll release him. In exchange for a hook. I think that's a... I think that's a good play. I think we can always just swear him again. He's got plus 44 opinion. Alternatively, I'll just send him a gift. And again, it's 123 opinion. We can have another university. Oh. Oh, there you go then. Uh, so even if the first one fucked up, we can have another one. Um, oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, it unlocks it as a building. Um, We gain renown. Oh, wow. Okay, where's Sienna? I actually don't know. Um, It's going to be somewhere in our bloody round then, huh? Because there's another university we can stick down there. Where is Sienna? You're probably thinking, why don't I just search for it? Well, we know it's got to be here. So ah, there it is. Um, Siena, another university for... Oh, University of Siena. That's a specific one. Want the lifestyle experience 10%. Oh, that's insane. Why have I not romanced our husband yet? Uh, Seeking my love, Ballad. Ah, it worked, I think. It was very vague, but I, I, I mean, it will work on me. That's fine. We got an intrigue lifestyle perk from the seduction. Okay. 30% um, fertility for free. I'll take that. No problem. Wow. We, did we do it? Oh, nice. We actually did it. Ends your scheme. We, he becomes a soulmate and we gain 750 prestige. Look at this fucking character, by the way. Uh, 10,177 prestige. 3,449. Absurd. <laughs> Just absolutely insane. Maybe the best character we've ever had in CK3 so far. Um, Byzantium have, I think, lost some land. They look a bit different. Or they've expanded in a way that's obviously cut their title in half there. I thought they had Kapathia, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, they've definitely lost land over here. Look at this. They've splintered quite heavily. Um, Mongol hordes have fallen apart. It's now just Chagatai. Uh, they've, they've lost the Mongolian Empire title. France no longer exists. Toulouse, Gascoigne, Burgundy. Um, that's about it. Brittany seems to have conquered most of all, all the way up to uh, Normandy there as well. Man, what a mess. I'm actually genuinely surprised the bloody HRE is kicking around at this stage. Hey, wow. More free stuff as well. Fantastic. Uh, 28 learning, 29. She's a martial... Sorry, she's a, a, a stewardship character that's got 29 diplomacy and 28 learning. How the fuck have we done this? She's so good. 
I have no idea how where the prestige comes from. That is insane. All we've been having is just the occasional feast and whatnot. That's mind-blowing. Oh, step back. So both the kids, I, I don't know if you actually noticed this, but both of them came out Genius, Pretty, and Hale, uh, which is identical to our current character, Genius, Pretty, Hale. Um, which, to be fair, we kind of expected, but this kid did get, technically is the worst one so far. Uh, but given they are Genius and Pretty, that's very little to complain about, huh? Uh, let's name him after a random ancestor. Who have we got? Jeevan Stobbs. You know, it's been a while since we've had Jeevan Stobbs. We had a nice combination of both the diplomacy trait and a learning trait there as well. So I went for Groom to Rule, and I also went for Pedegody, Ped Pedogody, uh, so that we gave me additional skills, and they also gave me one to three extra skill points to really push them even further. That was something this character didn't have the luxury of. So in theory, if we did this right, we could end up with an even better character than what we've got right now. Already defaulting stewardship is fantastic news. Assuming we still want to stick with stewardship, I mean... 78.1? Like, where does it end? Shit. Well, that's where it ends. No more points of development. Still got claims on Verona, right? Uh, oh, we've got everything but Verona itself. Well, let's fabricate a claim on that. Tidy that up. Uh, we might as well do something while we're just sitting here waiting for our... Well, everything to tick up, basically. Did I just say the wrong option, then? Oh, no. Oh, no, I did. Bollocks. Shit. Sorry, I meant to kick him out. I pressed the wrong bloody one. Well, never mind. Ah! Uh! Even stops. He's turned into the moon. Uh, send for a physician now. Uh, Dominico. The rich. I, I've talked about this before. The one that costs more money is obviously the better one. Um, time to cover drastic measures. It is smallpox. Uh, successful treatment. Are you sure about that? Uh, greatly reduced disease symptoms, but you disfigured him. I don't know if that's better. <laughs> By literally cutting off the nose to spite the face there, huh? Brilliant. Okay, fine. Go. Continue. Another child. A fucking identical kid again. Okay, give me another ancestor. Surely we've got some good ones in here somewhere. We can't have Jeevan Stobbs and Steve Job. Can we? I feel like the game is trying to tell us something there. Four victims fell ill, but everybody survived. Wow, that's pretty impressive for smallpox. At the end of the hunt, we can now turn our attention to finishing off you guys. So let's go. Our claims. Boom. Our uh, troops are already in Mestra, aren't they? Uh, Fermo. Get out of here, Fermo. Right. Here we go. This, this should take all of about two seconds, I think, for this war. Moderation, compassion, or truthfulness. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, Gaston is pleased, as he should be. Right. Spymaster. What if our spymasters die constantly? It's something about trying to uncover secrets in, in the Byzantine Empire that lowers their life expectancy, but I just can't place my finger on what it is. Oh. <laughs> well, that was quick. Thank you very much for that one. Greetings, Queen Womansa Musa of Venice, Wisdom of Mercy Legendary. You are a much greater friend than I imagined. Yes, I am. Thank you. Uh, we'll just let him go. We'll let him go. If we're trying to get piety. Oh, they're already gone. That's kind of how war works in hindsight. That's quite good. We're actually a, a pretty significant powerhouse now. Um, compared to the HRE, I mean, ooh, to be fair, they're similar to us. They've got a lot more land than us too, but they are similar. Um... Byzantium, 64,000. How the hell are we ever going to deal with that? I mean, probably by accruing thousands of gold and hiring every bloody mercenary between here and there. Where's that? Ooh, we're almost there. We've almost got Theologian. 20% monthly piety and a plus three learning is actually pretty fantastic, isn't it? Another spy master gone. Again, still not entirely sure what the hell's causing it. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm not actually putting these hooks to good use because once again, we've had another freaking character who, because she's uh, forgiving, I believe it is, uh, it freaks her out if we try and do anything with it. Very long pilgrimage. Fine, San Diego, rather than constantly going to Jerusalem. Let's, let's bury our holiday this year. 4,124 piety now as well. Should get us just shy of... That's fine. We'll get us just shy of 5,000, I think. Uh, depending on what else we can pick up here. Really? Tell me more of this queen. Sure, that sounds sounds fine. I bought the Holy Path, uh, 625, and of course determined pilgrim there, so we're 40, 4,800 piety. I mean, if we wanted to now, we could probably chuck out a, a religion with 20 doctrines if we felt like it. Um, although, I guess when you change the, sorry, tenets, but when you change, or tenets, when you change the doctrines, though, it will obviously add up. What do you think we want, though? Uh, fundamentalist is quite fun. I think we have to be that. Uh, lay clergy we need. We'll go equal because that only seems reasonable. Um, divorce always allowed. 
Let's be approved. I think always allowed because of the money in it, you know? Marriage types, you got to consider, you got to consider, you know, how far is this money going? More wives is more, more losses, essentially. So, you know what? Not, not bothering that. No bastards. We don't want any trouble. Uh, any kid, if they're good enough, get them in there. Bastards can never religiousize. Yeah, that's, that's the one I want. Um, honestly, whatever's best for the... Whatever's best. Whatever's best for the family. Whatever's best to, for the dynasty, as far as I'm concerned. Now, we want as many things illegal as possible. So that we can use that to our advantage. To ransom. To imprison. To do what basically whatever we can with that. Um, so we want to go super, super restrictive on what people can actually do. Um, that one gives lower domain taxes. That one gives lower domain taxes. Not interested. Uh, either is fine. Clerical marriage allowed? Because they can get into more trouble that way if they commit adultery. That's the right way to think about it. Temporal for life. And then we go to the top of here and we go temporal. Okay. Brilliant. That's only cost us 1,600. Okay. Well, that's fantastic. Um, we'll go for the money tree, obviously. Again, this is just a test. I'm not committing to it quite yet. We might want to see how we do. Arm pilgrimages is okay. Um, kind of glad Great Holy Wars is actually quite nice. Monasticism not bothered by. So I think we probably want... That one saves us money, so that one's quite good. Uh, prestige from level of spender for newborns. We're getting married. Maximum range. Well, that's not bad, is it? Okay, let's take a look then. Um, astrology. 25% naval speed. I think we believe in the mighty, the mighty dollar. Not believing in the mighty stars in the sky, which obviously do nothing for us. Um, can't like exaltation. We, we can encourage it, but then also throw them in prison if they actually do it. That is incredible. Um, consolamentum. And their life when they're old. That's actually not bad at all. I, that does, I mean, that's an incredible tool if you're trying to go for, like, achievements or something. But for us, it doesn't really make much sense. We want to be as, uh, as alive as long as possible to make as much profit while we're alive. Um, this is terrorism. I don't really think that's too good. Gnosticism. Uh, give away titles. Relieves a proportionate amount of stress. Makes temperate a virtue. I don't think that suits us. Minus two to stewardship. Rubbish. Human sacrifice. Irrelevant. In a journey, gives piety Catholic opinion. Um, Islam syncreticism. It's a bit pointless as well. Same with Jewish syncreticism. Legalism? Ooh. No, I think arbitrary could come in fairly handy. Literalism. Don't really care about that one too. American preachers. Conversion speed is higher. Now that one seems like it could be the first actual good one on the list. So we're going to go American preachers. Done. Um, so we've got natural primitivism. Oh my god, what the hell's going on here? And then there's suddenly a bunch of new ones. This isn't alphabetical at all. Oh, I hope we haven't missed anything. Okay. Uh, we've seen monasticism. Auspicious birthright. Miracle worker trait. Oh, that's quite cool. Can be randomly born with that. That's really fun. Uh, natural primitivism we can't have. Because um, that is illegal. Pacifism. Arm pilgrimage. Obviously, I'm not getting rid of that. Pastoral. Actually, I don't know. What does it do for us? Pa cannot declare holy wars. Alright, you can get out of here. Pastoral isolation. Development growth is down, so affecting the economy. Pentarchy is pretty tricky. Polyamory is obviously pointless. Uh, pursuit of power. More than happy to go for that one. Um, it was after that one. Reincarnation. That's just fun to have. Throw it on the list. If we can build the religion now, honestly, why the hell not? Um, religious law. Law costs are down by 10%. Costs are the important thing here. Fine. Ritual cannibalism. Bit unnecessary, seeing as that is... Uh... Wait, hang on. So, deviance is criminal, but you can eat a man and that's fine. <laughs> that's quite funny. Ritual celebrations, I feel like, is pretty good. Um, so, we'll throw that one on the list. Right, what else we got here? Ritual hospitality. Nah. Generous of virtue. We're not going to be doing that. That's the opposite of what we want here. Sacred childbirth. Mothers and children less likely to die in 10% fertility is really good. Woo. Um, that's fantastic. Uh, okay, sacred lies makes deceitful of virtue. I could, I could get behind that. Damn, we still have not spent all of our, all of our piety yet either. Jesus. Um, building construction costs. Get out of here. Sky barrels are actually quite nice. Struggle and submission. Head of faith can declare great holy wars, provided it's organized. Oh, look at that. Tax non-believers. Yes, of course we've got to go for that one. Um, warmonger is an obvious one. Oh, I think this is where the cost is going to get now too high. Vows of poverty, you can get fucked. Yeah, see, it gets a bit expensive here. Syncretic folk traditions. Considers them hostile instead of evil. Humble of virtue, arrogant of sin. Struggle and submission we want to go for as well. And I want sky barriers. Okay, so in conclusion, 
with everything taken into account, uh, I honestly think I don't want any others. Low cost by 10% for each virtue here. Oh, I didn't know why I didn't get for legalism then. Uh, we'll throw that one on. Um, obviously, that one would be quite good as well. Let's see if we can... What would be the maximum? Sorry, I know I'm rambling on a little bit here. Um, what be the complete maximum without anything that goes against... Uh, anything that goes against our core religion of... Greedy. No, we're not interested in that one. Astrology? Sure, fine. Uh, Colonel Exaltation makes us full of virtue. And we're 25%. But we've also made it a sin. Oh, that's the maximum we can get. So, 7,432 is how much we want to aim for with this character. And then we can make the ultimate religion. And we might want to swap some of these out. Like, kind of like Saltation, we might want to swap out for, I don't know, Section for Conversions or something like that. Um, but that's that's the idea there. So, we got Virtues, Lustful, Temperate, Deceitful, Ambitious, Just, Compassionate, Forgiving, and Possessed. Is greed, Greedy is not a sin, right? That's the only thing I really care about. Yeah, that's okay then. Good stuff. This is ideally what we're aiming for. And to be honest, tomorrow, or whenever the next episode comes out, obviously, that is going to be... That is going to be it. That is going to be the religion right there. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned. That's going to be, I think, pretty ridiculous. That's going to change how all of the game plays because we're going to have to consider so much stuff when we do absolutely everything. Raising children is going to be diff different. Airs are going to be completely different. We'll obviously get a whole bunch of new mechanics as well. Thank you in the meantime to Poop Feast 420, Philosophical You Prize, Necrophil and Small Snack, Amethyst C, The Durst of Times, Sweet C, Galaxy Rule, Wolf, Nemesis Rubius, Jan, Magnus Adamandios, King Snitch Gaming, White Stormin, Moon Cult Leader, Namo, Demon Boy, Shotgun Diplomacy, and Cat, along with everyone else at the executive producer tiers over on Coffee, making the channel possible in the first place. A big thank you goes out to those guys for keeping the channel going. Thank you. Much appreciated. And a thank you as well goes out to, when I finish writing Venice, Hero Club, Chatulski, Archbishop, Blood Riot, Kamikaze, James B, Smirtworm, Galupo Fruit Hag, Don, Avanifus, Dinosius the Esoteric, Flabubba, Plumby, Fred, Varlow, Consulus, Piddle, Fiddle, Piddle, Diddle, Riddle, and Davidovich for their support over at Coffee as well. Of course, but thanks to everybody over at Coffee for the final month here of Coffee before we flip back over to Patreon. And I'll see you guys all probably not tomorrow, but the day after for building this religion.